I got 10 years to fill a stadium, but only two minutes to fill your cranium. Humble the Poet, signing in. Yes, I'm wearing a suit. It's currently 7.40 p.m. I'm supposed to be at Lily's birthday party at 8 p.m., but I have to go to a wedding first. So pretty much I'm screwed. But the beer is on fleek though. When I first started sharing my raps publicly, I thought I was the shit. I was rapping for like a whole week and then Drake popped off. And I was thinking to myself, what's the big deal? I've been rapping for a whole week right now. Y'all should be paying attention to me. But the thing with overnight celebrities are they're never really overnight. And I would know this about Drake. I was at one of his earlier concerts, years before he blew up. I know he put in work. I know he dealt with all the BS that came with the game. I know he earned the stripes. And it took a lot for him to become that witty rhyme singer that he is today. And that's important. Now, if I look back at the rhymes that I was writing back in 09, they are nothing compared to what I can do today. You can actually check them, they're on this same channel. And five years from now, I'm hoping that I can laugh at the stuff I wrote in 2015. Now the beauty with what Drake did was he allowed his audience to watch him grow and evolve as a person. He shared his successes, he shared his failures, he shared everything that came with the life that he was living. And the more popular he got, the more people assumed that he would lose touch with what made him successful. But what actually happened was the opposite. He actually has a work ethic that's got him releasing more music now than he did when he first started. He's doing remixes on songs that people have never heard before from artists that people don't know, thus making a new hit and giving a new artist some shine. We going up on a Tuesday. You guys ever hear the cha-cha, the actual cha-cha song? It's pretty, it's pretty catchy. He's taking risks and using funky sounds and making them his own. When you look at the rate that he's working, it doesn't seem like he's, oh yeah, I made it. I can't even get, can't even get my hands with the suit on, I can't even do it. Can't get my hands behind my back. He's not acting like he made it, he's acting like he's still chasing it. And that's an important idea to hold on to. Instead of chasing the pot at the end of the rainbow, enjoy your time on the rainbow. It's the same with Lily. The more popular she got, the more she started working even harder and perfecting her craft. She takes less time off. And now if you watch her video, she's focusing on every tiny detail to make sure it's even better and it lives up to the expectations that you have for her. And that can be inspiring to all of us. And instead of working towards an end goal, we can start focusing on enjoying Enjoying every step of the journey and being happy that we're growing along the way. Keep evolving. We're a work of art and we're never gonna finish until we stop existing. So really we'll be forever a work in progress. As Oprah says, the whole point of being alive is to evolve into the complete person you were intended to be. And that's an interesting idea when you think about it. In Punjabi, when people pass away, sometimes they say Pura Hogya. Pura means complete. So really we're not complete until we're dead. So let's keep evolving until then. I don't know you, nor do I know your potential. But I do know that once something stops growing, it's most likely no longer alive. Some people can be breathing, walking, and talking, but they still feel dead inside. If you feel that way sometimes, maybe it's time to bring yourself back to life. Find a new challenge to overcome. Find a new comfort zone to escape. Never stop learning. Never stop growing. Understanding this principle is why we can expect to see Drake for years and years to come. Because he's not focused on staying in one place. He's growing on all fronts and giving us a front row seat to the show. Please don't let your life go into autopilot. Every moment is a brand new moment to make a better you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you like the things I say and the way I think, check out my book, Unlearn. Get yourself a copy at unlearn101.com or Amazon or Barnes & Noble or anywhere online that sells books. If you have trouble getting a book to your country or you don't like reading, you can also go on unlearn101.com and get the audiobook. That way, I'll be reading you the book in my sexy mumbly voice. Also, I'm trying to drop videos regularly. Do check out the notifications. So if you're on mobile, hit that little bell beside my subscribe button to let you know when I drop a new video. If you're on the computer, check out that little gear and you'll never miss a video. I try my best to reply during the first hour of each release. So click on those notifications so you know when they're coming. Please share this video with somebody that you care about or somebody that you don't or anybody that you think will like it. Much love. When you have a turban and a beard, life got very interesting after 9-11. Let's talk about all the times they called me Osama. I'm not talking about the YouTube comments where all the kids are hiding behind their keyboard. I'm talking about the times they said it to my face. 